Welcome back to another YouTube video and we're going to discuss breadth first search which is one of the main algorithms that you're going to use when you're trying to work with graph. Right, so I'm going to walk through manually through how can we make um, the algorithm breadth first search. The main idea behind it is to visit the neighbors first and not going in depth. So let's start for example at the beginning of 3. We have this node at 3 and we want to add all our uh, and visit all our neighbors first so when we're visiting our node we're going to add it to the queue because we need to keep track of the orders because we need to make sure that we're visiting the valid nodes at a specific order so at the first level we have our three so we're going to add this three to our queue and we're at this point we're at Point three, we're gonna check for its all neighbors. We have zero, we have five, and we have finally seven. We add them to our queue after visiting it. So after updating, for example, if we visited uh, zero, we update it to two, and after visiting to this five, after updating it to two, uh, and we add it to the queue. So we update zero and then add to queue. We update five, then we add to the queue, and finally we update seven and add it to the queue. And after fi finishing adding and visiting all the neighbor of this tree, we're gonna pop it out. After popping it out, we're gonna iterate to the next element to the queue, which is zero. So zero, we have one and four. Those are our neighbors. So we're just gonna add one and four to the queue. And then after finishing all its neighbor, and for, uh, for information, we have three here. Three was not our neighbor because it is already coming from this area. Like we are visiting zero from this point. So we're gonna check the neighbors that's not visited. So for for us three, three does not really need to be visited. So now we are finished with zero. Now we're gonna check five and five has seven neighbor only. So and seven, uh, seven is already visited, so it's kind of pointless. And we have the other neighbor, yeah, five here. Yeah, unfortunately, five has two neighbors that's not visited, which is two. So we add two to the, our queue. Uh, and lastly, we have seven, and seven has uh, two neighbor, five and four. Five already visited, so it's pointless. And four is not visited, so we add four to the queue, and so on. So that's basically it for the algorithm i don't really want to walk into details because the animation would really explain the point so we can run it and explain it as it goes so i'm going to start the vertex 3 which is our case here and at the beginning we're visiting the neighbors 3 uh, 0 5 and finally 7 right after updating we add it to the queue all right perfect now we have at point 0 we're going to iterate the neighbors we have one, we have three, and we have four. I wouldn't really try talking over because it's kind of gonna confuse it. Right, and that's basically it. So I will run it and explain in a steps as it goes, I'm trying to minimize the animation so I can explain, but let's see. So we're visiting 0, 5, and 7. In our queue, we have, uh, we're adding it after visiting. Now we're gonna pop this 3 because we're done. And now we're gonna visit this 0. So now we're gonna check for the other sides for 0, 1, and 4. Uh, and then we're adding them to, uh, to our queue. Uh, it's too fast. And we have the 5, we're going to check the neighbors and add it, we added 2 and 7, but 7 is already existing in the queue, so it doesn't really add, it get added. So we're visiting 7, which in our case was 3 and 4. So 
since 4 was already included in 3D edit, so it, it will find out 1. Now we're at 4, we're adding 6 and 7. So supposedly it's visited, so it doesn't really add it. So now we're visiting 2, 2, and we have like. Yeah, but it's too fast. But that's basically the main point here. Uh, you're, you're visiting the neighbors, and after finishing every neighbor, then you're gonna want, you're gonna go one more in level. That's basically it. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope I explained it well, um, and hope you can benefit from this playlist. Thank you, and see you next time.